даже Обама, если сядет, то сразу покачет Е, yeah. это вам койло прямо в лицо Надо кольцо, пишу рандом, сейчас будет мясо Это не рэп, это лишь фон для тех, кто поймет Сам управляет и на контроль тут не отдает Пишите все, а затем все ливаете дно Вы с такими темпами тут проиграете, но Можно собраться и постараться вывести брон Пара минут и уже точно вынесли трон Ха, yeah, вот и закончил Лего МС на биточке Е, yeah, всем кто в теме Эй
All right, I'm back. You there? Yep. All righty, here we go. Hmm. So this is the last game of the Star Ladder Series Finals, and no tied up against Fnatic. Been a good series so far. Hoping to make it a great series with a five-pick Meepo. Calling Our, it now. I hope so. I mean, last game was a great game. Yeah. In, in the sense that both teams played well. I just think but the draft was still not fanatic. a great team in the or great game in that one of the teams picked PL. And <laughs> did exactly what you're supposed to do with PL, which is yep. get last hits. <sighs> oh, sorry. Do you hear me crunching or not? Yep. Oh, crap. I'm hungry, so I'm eating M&M's. Leftover Easter candy, baby. Mm. Yesterday I went to a place and they gave us a little bowl of chocolate at the end. <laughs> it's awesome. Nice. Like if I ever start a restaurant, that is a thing I will do. All right, here we go. Everybody's loaded in and see what picks we get. I bet we're going to see a Chen ban from no time. I'm curious to see if a Wisp actually makes it through, because I think they're going to be more concerned about other things that they've both teams have fought up against. So Fnatic has first pick. Um, Ten no time remaining. is probably oh, going to ban Chen. What? Never mind. Die Fnatic bans ban. Chen. And the Wisp ban immediately. They don't want to deal with it. Radiant yep. team ban. Um, Lone Druid here, possibly. Um, putting that back in the hands of Admiral Bulldog will be a scary proposition indeed. Nope, ban the Knicks. Dire team ban. Um, a common ban. I mean, I... It's an interesting he, choice, yep. but... Even with the nerfs he had, he's still very strong in a tri-lane. He's scary later on it means you have to keep vision up and if you can't keep vision up you cannot move around even your part of the jungle freely you have to constantly be afraid Ten seconds yeah it's not remaining. a good feeling to play against nyx ever it's not fun five seconds remaining batrider bam we saw that twice radiant team yep pick. um no tide hunter is really concerned about that batrider i don't He's a very strong Dying hero. Mm -hmm. Puck, first pick. It's been a big hero in the series. Yeah, I mean, I I like the pick. He's, he's in the current meta, he's just very good with his silence, his AoE ult, which just kind of keeps everyone in place for your other big spells. Um, he actually combos very nicely with um, Coddle, because the Coddle Blast will hit everyone. Ten seconds. Absolutely. Amazing. So from No Tide Hunter, I I think that we're going to see a Lone Druid pick up here, and I think we're going to see a hmm, a support of some kind. They've been heavy, heavily favoring Coddle, I think. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that again. LD Coddle play. Coddle PL. Coddle PL would make sense, but I don't think they're going to do it. Yeah. Um. Very rarely do you want to give away your whole strategy this early on. I think that Fnatic will counter pick a PL if no Tide Hunter gets a coddle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would not surprise me. Reserve top L yeah. Oh, there you go. LDPL. You guessed it. So oh, LD coddle, actually. Yeah, yeah sorry. So Admiral Bulldog. Yep. Admiral Bulldog on Lone Druid again. Um... Coddle, just kind of versatile, go anywhere. Oh, it might force Fnatic to pick PL. Uh, I think it's going to. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. It's just huh. always a pain when you have to pick Five PL in the first round. Five remaining. Yep. And it's not what you wanted to do, you know what I mean? Reserve time. So they're going into reserve time. This is something they're really having to think about. I, 
I wonder, I don't think they were expecting the Coddle pick up by No Tide. And they might be kind of forced or pissed that they're being forced to pick up the PL here and they're thinking if they have any other options, maybe. Yep. The gyro. You can always pick up gyro right here. You can. They have before tonight. Did not work out so well for them, though, unfortunately. No. So, although the score is 2-2, no Tidehunters actually only won one game. They came in with a one-game advantage from advancing through the winner's bracket to the finals. So, Fnatic is doing really good right now. Um, I think that they're going to be a, in a good position to make this work. Yeah, they lost the first game, right? Earthshaker. Um, Interesting. Fnatic lost the second game, I believe. Earthshaker and Nature's Prophet. Interesting pickups. Um, so earlier today we saw Hani on the Earthshaker. Previously we're used to seeing No Tail on the Earthshaker um, doing some interesting tricks. I'm not um, thinking it's going to be uh, No Tail on the Puck again. That would, yeah. So they Ten basically just said, okay, No Tide. You want to, uh, Five you want to go PL Coddle? Go for it. If I were them, I'd take it. But reserve time. It's still a great thing. Both of these ta teams eating into their reserve time. They're going to have to make their last picks pretty quickly. Um, hopefully, that doesn't cause too many problems for them. Yeah, you like to see teams be able to think it out and get get what they want. Makes for more fun games. Absolutely, I'm just this first round. They're clear. I mean, they're setting up what they're actually going to do. Yep. Gyrocopter. I mean, it seems like neither team really knows what they're going to Radiant do yet. They go with the gyrocopter. I didn't see that coming. No. So it looks like PL's wow. probably going to get left on the table. Diet. Uh. Because um, no Tidehunter already has the gyro and the lone PL band first. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Mag coming out. Very strong team ult. Or team fight ult from him. They're banning against Puck, I think. <laughs> TA ban. Yep. TA ban. Interesting. Haven't seen him played in quite a gyro while. Gyro can still yeah. admit. I don't really know why they're doing it. In pro play, Gyro very rarely solos mid. Ah. We'll see. Um, he certainly can in a pub match, but I, it can be done. But it's not very common, so I don't think they're worried about that. We're seeing carry ban outs from No Tide, of course, because that's Fnatic desperately is going to need a carry. Yep. But Fnatic so did a very good job of setting themselves up here for whatever they want, like... <laughs> They, they can literally do just about any carry strat they, mm -hmm. they they could ever hope for. I would not mind seeing the Void pick up here. I think that would be a lot of fun and be a good counter to the Gyro. Mm -hmm. And you could see uh, something like an Earthshaker blink into the Void ult and then mm -hmm. chain off your ult immediately after that. Yep. Interesting Darkseer ban. I can't imagine no Tidehunter picking up Darkseer since they already have the Lone Druid for their offlane. Yeah, I, yeah. I I wonder if that was just kind of a brain fart on Fnatic. Ten like, seconds oh. remaining. Hmm. I don't know. So I, I saw a thread recently that I don't have full context Radiant on. Um, Nakes coming out for the ban. Nice. Um... But there was a Chinese game played recently where both teams agreed to a no-ban strategy, is what it sounded like. And I would be very curious if that evolved what, what the meta would look like without bans. Like, I think it's an amazing strategic input right now, and I love watching how the draft goes. Ten seconds but remaining. At least a little bit I'd be curious to see how no band games well. Five seconds uh -huh. remaining. Hmm, so who's no rubric mid? That's a good pick. You're gonna get uh, spell steal of Earthshaker's ult or Earthshaker's stun. 
Um, mm -hmm. actually, there's a ton of spells you're going to want to steal here. Yeah. Um, and you could Let's actually, if you're landing right. Rubric against Puck, you could steal Puck's phase shift and dodge everything. If you're laning against Puck, you're just going to lose, though. <laughs> Seriously, there's no way a Rubik can compete against a Puck early on. The only Five person who can compete remaining. against Puck well is Batrider. Yep, that is pretty potent. Time. Mag does okay, but... So what are they going to go? They obviously are still thinking really hard about this carry. Brew mother. So, Ten seconds remaining. No. Screw it. No. Meepo. Five I know, that would be awesome. Remaining. Sven stands Sven. Up. I have not seen Sven One, uh, in a long time. He used to be you remember when Sven was the it was every game. Every game he was first pick or first ban. That first was pick. like a month long period around Christmas, I believe, yeah. Yep. And he's still pretty popular in Asian play. Really? Yep. I mean, for as far as pure DPS goes, it's he he rules the roost almost. I mean, Ten seconds he can remaining. rule the roost. Yes. The, the splash damage is very high. Five Sixty-five percent, yep. right? I don't remember honestly. At level four, I'll I think it's something check. like that. I know it's high. I thought it was only forty percent, but that's still quite a bit. Yeah. And with his ult, and that's just yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah. Ten seconds. So this is a nice lineup by Fnatic. What's it going to be from No Tide? Five seconds. All right, I'm not sold on this Fnatic Stalker. Night Stalker coming out. Interesting. Why? So they want to win by the 40 minute mark at the latest. Fnatic also want to win pretty early on. They have better late game potential, but they're going to be running. Um, well, I mean, actually, I mean, you got Night Stalker and Gy Night Stalker and Gyro. That's that's a lot of DPS versus pretty much a Sven. And a Nature's Prophet, I guess, does does yeah. okay damage. So the Gyro... I mean, the question with the Gyro on whether he's a DPS machine or just a good carry is does he pick up the Divine Rapier? Yep. You haven't seen one today. I'm not sure that they're going to want to chance Ten it. Seconds. If Remember. they do, then yeah. Like, his late game, late game damage is Five insane. Seconds. It's an Remember. even worse splash than Fnatic's uh, Sven, because it hits everybody in the area no matter what. Alright, so but, you want to go over uh, one of the teams? Yeah, so I'll do no Tidehunter this time, so we have Prepare on the Night Stalker battle. S4 actually, so he's going to be going mid most likely um, to compete up against that Puck. We've got Ake, their hard carry going on the Coddle, I think this is the second or third time he's played that today. Gyro is going to be... You mean Ake being their support, not their hard carry. Right. I misspeak many times. <laughs> I'm sorry. Woda is their hard carry on the Gyro. Um, Admiral Bulldog on the hero he loves so much, the Lone Druid. And Rubik is being played by... EGM. EGM. Indeed. And for... In the left corner... <laughs> <laughs> Weighing in at who knows how much. We got Fnatic Fly playing uh, Leshrac. Again, support battle. from him. He's a pretty good Leshrac. It was kind of fun to watch. Hani playing our Shaker. Era the carry on Sven. And No Tails Puck, which was f pretty fun to watch the first game. It was a good puck. It was phenomenal. Um, and I back at say. base, we got Trixie just kind of chilling. Yep. This The Nature's Prophet has been in every game of the series so far, I believe. And he's been in the jungle every time. They will try to move him into the off lane to slow down the push since it's going to be an uncontested what? lane top. But they're Damn. still going to lose the uh, top tower pretty quickly, I would guess. Um, so with those heroes, I, it's not going to be a three minute tower, but it's going to be a five minute tower, I would guess. Yep, we got that. Meanwhile, I should watch uh, Admiral Bulldog trying to pull the creeps 
and failing, unfortunately. This is pretty rare for him. He's a nah, bro, he's got the range creep. Guy. He's got one creep. One creep. Pretty disappointing. And this him. is this is the thing with Sven. If you let Sven free farm a lane, it hurts. Like, yep. like he needs his farm. But if he gets his farm, it's not pretty. Not even a little bit. Meanwhile, top lane is just getting stacks. Ake is... Uh, sorry. Yep, stacking and pulling. They're both doing... Oh, no, they're doing a double pull. Load is getting free farm. Literal free farm, not kind of free farm, like bottom lane. Um, I mean, free farm bot is... I mean, bot is basically complete free farm. All that Bulldog's going to do early on is try to pull back some creeps so that he can get some experience. He's not going to be attacking anybody. In the mid, um, S4 is holding his own for now. They're both at level 3. Oh, Puck's not actually at level 3 yet. But pretty soon the nukes are going to start coming out from that Puck, and it's going to hurt. That Puck. Mm-hmm. He went a slower bottle, though. He did. Um, which is a thing people do that I still disagree with. Um, like I said earlier, we've got the Trixie top trying to slow down this push a little bit. No actual damage. Okay, a little bit of damage now on the tower. Um, I guess the pull on Trixie doesn't pull him back. I don't know, was that a mistake? Or what did he just... <laughs> uh, fortification pop to get it to two minute mark. This Today is it's not going to be a three minute tower. I did. I was wrong. Possibly. <laughs> Loading it. Oh, they're gonna try to take down Treant's trees for free gold. Free gold. Free gold. Free gold. Bottom, meanwhile, era. Lost control of the lane somehow. Bulldog wants to. Oh, Bulldog's in trouble. Double stun. And Bulldog's gonna go down. Era's stuck, though. Era might go down too unless they can divert. They do divert. Very nice play there. Era survives with seven hit points. The range creep gets a hit on him. Seven hit points. Meanwhile, the bottle is coming out for the Night Stalker. Yep, he's been bottle burning. And Puck also has the bottles. There you go. He's got and it was a three-minute tower top. So, huh. do not know what I'm talking about. Don't listen. To me. <laughs> Radiance top pretty tower good. is under attack. No tail is feeling pretty confident. I bet if he orbs in, he might be able to get us four. Oh no, that's for his bottling. Yeah, he's got one more charge left. He's going to be at almost full health. This 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 next uh, four minute rune is going to be big for the mid lane. And he's using his nuke to take down creeps, which he should do. Yep, I remember when I first started watching pro play and saw them do that. I was like, no, no, that's what that's what people will play like two games do. You don't know what you're doing, and then I learned. All right. First. Does he get it? He gets yes, it. Yes, he does. Haste. That was Haste. that was a little bit of a mistake by No Tail. I think with the orb, he shouldn't ever lose you that ever. Not. I agree. So. I, um, I'm curious if S4 is going to make a play here. He doesn't have any support, so I yeah. guess all he can hope for is running away. Um, nobody's going to come help him make a play, so he's just. Fast for fun. Okay. F for F. Mm-hmm. Also, a Craigslist ad. <laughs> All right. No longer fast. No tail hanging out. Free farm top by Loda. Right now, last hit. Loda's got the most of 27, closely followed by Sven with 25. So Era's getting his last hits in. That's what he needs. Come on, mid. Hani's kind of sitting here at level 2. Wanting to go on... They really want to go on S4, it looks like. Um, they're thinking about it. That creep's going to spot him out. Oh, Puck sold us up. They get the stun. They're going to get a secondary stun. And they're going to get trees. That's going to be a press for. Oh, good, good wand charges. He might take No-Tail. No-Tail gets a blast. No-Tail stun. Oh, dodges. Wonderful dodge by No-Tail. So, S4 is still alive. Even though they committed four heroes to that. And no tail still alive. And no tail still alive with some fantastic puck play. Yep. He dived deep and came out just fine. 
even though he did not get the kill. Level 3 on Admiral Bulldog, doing not great down here. <laughs> Radiance top tower not not attack. great. Um, Hani, who's a hard support, and just jungle farming is level 2. Yep. Rushrax doing slightly better. This bear is moving around like a freaking ballerina. Um, which is awesome, but not yeah. very helpful. I'm not getting a whole lot done. Um, we got uh, jumped into the room by uh, Trixie. Did they see that? Did they have vision? Oh, they do. They have Hani, his sole purpose right now is to get kills. He is level 2. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Apparently, uh, this is what, apparently this is, oh, they're gonna get the bear here. They waste us. They were gonna waste two stuns on it, maybe three stuns on it. Yep. Yep. They want the hundred gold. Four heroes. That's a lot of heroes to go in for fanatic. And early on, this resummon takes so long to cool down. 160 seconds. Ah. So if they can then kill it again, which yeah. Is, Unlikely, but a bearless bulldog this early on is awful. Yep. But Fnatic's heroes right now, I mean, they're really trying to ride the back of air here. Hani and Fly are just kind of sitting, trying to help anyone they can. Yep. Not really. EGM like top is just trying to pull as many creeps as he can so he can get um, level 6 ASAP. Yep. and start actually mattering. Yep. Um, so he can steal a stun from literally every hero on the enemy team. Yeah. All he has to do is click R and good things will happen is what it looks like. That's a good position to be in for him. Indeed. I mean, right now, Fnatic is, is completely giving up the top lane, which means they have to think they have they can either out carry on the back of era or try to win and get ganks early. And they haven't succeeded. I mean Bulldog is playing incredibly safe. He's literally just like not leaving his tower. Not even in front of his tower, behind his tower. Yep. But he doesn't need to. I mean he's his carry's gonna creep farm. Well no tail gets attack. nuked by uh Night Stalker doesn't really happen. Nothing really happens, but double damage <laughs> on Night Stalker. No Tail has not gotten these runes at all. He has no rune control. I wonder why he's he's not even trying. Yeah. Like, is he concerned about the silence coming out from the Night Stalker? I doubt it. Like maybe earlier on, or maybe now, but not earlier on. There was no yeah. significant risk for him. Knight's almost up, so at this point, obviously, he doesn't want to go. Especially, he can see the double damage on Night Stalker, and you don't, you don't want to mess with that. Yeah. You know, top of the lane is getting pushed out again. I think they're thinking they're going to take a tower here. I think they're ready. They have a catapult going with them. EGM is waiting to pick someone up. Be EGM steals what? He steals teleport. That is a useful spell. Well, mid, they lock down S4, they get the latch. Orbs in, goes, silences, gets a hit, but he's not going to go down. And actually, Puck might go down here. Oh, that's the rockets from Loda. Oh, there's two down. Beautiful teleport Fnatic. in by EGM. Wonderful. Hani gets a stun, has to run. If he gets picked up here, it's going to be game over for Hani. Three dead. What happened to Sven? I didn't even see Sven go down. I think that was going on bottom lane Man. with Bulldog. Insult to injury. That was exactly what they didn't need. When they had, you know, if you're throwing away a lane like that, you need to win the big fight. Like that's what you're yep. betting on. You're like, yep. I'm gonna let this guy get farmed and then win the big fight. And that did not happen. So this is a pretty convincing early lead by No Tide Hunter. Nothing that they can't come back from for Fnatic, but it's yep. definitely looking good. Yeah, I mean, Hani is still level level four. I mean, the supports are so underleveled. Actually, let's look at the levels. Where are the levels? Yeah, the two lowest levels, four and four. Though Lone only has a five. But That's what scares me for No Tide Hunter. That that bear needs to matter, and it's not right now. 
Ah, uh, no Titan. Uh, uh, S4 gets the invis, but walks right by a rune. You're not fooling anyone, man. <laughs> um, so... Ogre King, or Ogre Club up on the spin, so going straight to a BKB. He's just going to be relying on his ultimate to actually do damage. And now Bulldog's starting to get some pulls now that the supports aren't here. So now he's just starting to get a few more levels. It's good for him. Rotation oh. top by Night Stalker. Maybe I'm going to try to catch Fly out. I think that's exactly what he's going to try to do. It's night time. Nope. It's not. Yes, it is night time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. Maybe so. It is. It's got the night symbol. He's going to go. He's going to die in power. He's going to try to punish him as much as he can. It's not going to be enough. Oh, great puck ulti. And that's going to be S4. That is a triple click every time. And they're even going to get EGM here. Yep. Or that is. He's uh... by Gyro. Gyro is going to hit hard. Great dodge by No-Tail. Puck is so freaking annoying. Great dodge. Did you notice the double tree sprouting out of the ground from the Rubik and Nature's Prophet <laughs> teleports? It was pretty confusing for a second. I know, I was like, is that? No, it's not. Oh, it, it. Yeah, that was basically my brain. I think Bulldog, oh, he doesn't want these under the tower. That's what he's doing. Yep. Like, why is he just sitting there letting his bear take damage? He wants to actually get the last hits, which requires better positioning. Which he didn't actually really get anyways. But I mean, he didn't get better positioning. He did get uh, all the last hits. But he was still having to take them while they were under the tower. Yep. Um, um, Air is doing pretty well with last hits and eyes. Uh, Gyro's leading, of course. He had a free, free lane up top. Yep. Air is debating getting the stun here. Hani's there. They should go for this bear. They're not going to. Yep, they are. Hani's going to go for the stun here. That's going to be a nice thing. fisher. Yep. And oh, the creep gets not. the bear. Yep. It's a shame. You get the experience still. But... And immediate resummon. Yep. Blink dagger on puck. That's not good for you guys' team. So S4 held out here in mid pretty well. I'm surprised doesn't make a lot of sense. No tail didn't seem to be playing like the no tail that we saw in earlier games of the series. S4 going straight for the armlet. EGM gets the, st the storm hammer stolen. Nice. That's big. So he's going to be able to s disable Science one hero for almost four seconds between his telekinesis and his storm hammer. If they get an entangle on Era, they're just going to kill him. I uh, oh, no got tail. a lot of Oh, that's going to be for Bulldog. Great point yep. by No Tail. Bulldog goes down. No Tail goes down. Nice TP. But TP comes in. Matter. They're going to get called on Era. And the reverse stun. There it is. Nice. Era basically no medicine. <laughs> Hani's S4 to to coming, chasing down Hani. Going to see a kill, I think. Yep. Dyer's bottom tower oh, is under TP, attack. Takes bro. a while. Bury me here. But they make it work. Great play by No Tail, but uh, uh, Arrow just can't get out of it. Not Arrow. Yep. Hani. Dyer's no, middle guy. tower is Spend. under attack. Arrow. Arrow. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you said no. Yeah, because I thought oh, well. it was wrong. Um, so Trixie coming in to push top lane. It looks like Bulldog has no bear. We're going to harass him down a little bit, but it's not going to matter. Yep. This tower is not going to go down right now, but they might come in for Bulldog. Honey, or er, No-Tail is invisible. Dyer's top tower His ult's not is here, so we can't hold him in place. Yep. I think Bulldog knows. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower. Oh, Bulldog's farming. Attack. Not a good choice, Dyer's man. Top tower has fallen. Silence, orb, do it. Silence. Three, two, one. One. Oh, now the bear's here. What? Why? Silence, oh. Ult. 
Attack, sprout by... Okay, good. This is good. <laughs> they get him. Oh, Gyro's rotating in. I think he's getting close. He gets out. And a blink. No tail's gonna get away. Fly might be... Fly may be a little trouble. Oh, Meanwhile, Han off. comes into the backside, but it gets too close, gets the stun. Era's gonna go down. Oh, Era gets the stun on... Is, can he get by? He can't get by. Oh, the Fisher ends up killing Era. They're gonna be pissed about that. <sighs> That Fissure, like, it's a very risky spell. You have to really understand what you're doing for it to not screw over your team. But when it works, it's amazing. Like, it can easily basically affect, like, a 5 to 7 second stun if you have to walk a really long distance that you wouldn't normally. Longest rocket of all time, by the way, that hits the sea there. <laughs> yep. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. You can actually make it bounce around the map a little bit if you have uh, Nature's Prophet yep. and Dyer's some other heroes. Um, it's just kind of funny. Rockets that fly forever. Yep. Would be pretty cool if you could get it up to like infinite damage. Like the further it traveled, the more damage it actually did, no matter what. Yeah. But. So Obviously, a, you wouldn't keep bouncing around at that point. They got a triple stack on the Ancients. Mm. So Gyro is going to be coming in to... Here he comes. Thousand gold here. Decent chunk of experience. Trixie, game right yep. Trixie's about to get his Shadow Blade up, at which point he's going to, he has the money now. Um, then he can start... Oh, No-Tail's going to go down here. Oh, they get a great stun out. Oh, the Call of Blast is going to come in and take down Lushrak. That Fisher blocked Lushrak in, just like I was talking about, can happen. He got the kill, though. The Fisher got the kill on uh, EGM. But at what cost? At what cost? So like I said, I think we're going to see Trixie doing a strong split push soon. Um, well, I hope we will. I guess I shouldn't say we actually will, because two games ago, I think it was, he decided to not attack towers. <laughs> he just free farmed constantly in the jungle and stuff, and it was really bizarre, and I didn't get it. Yeah. At what cost? Oh, so uh, Aki is just chilling in mid, getting getting some stuff while his carriers are busy. Yep. Um, EGM has mana boots. That's exciting for him. Neither of these teams is a strong candidate to go Roche, so I think we're going to not see that until later in the game. Great uh, stacking by EGM. So Gyro had free farm, and now he's just getting free stack farm, and he's got more last hits than anyone, so let's take a look at the XP gold graph. XP graph, 4,000 in advantage of the Dire, and gold graph, 3,000. So, giving the free farm to Loda means that Loda has free farm. Lots of money, lots of experience. True facts. True facts. Totology totological facts. But, Trixie gets free farm. Not quite as exciting as Loda getting free farm. So, Bulldog was having a rough early game, and checking in on him now, he's still having a rough mid game. Yep. Um, he's got phase boots up finally. His bear basically has nothing. Basically, I mean... Very little, especially for this late in the game. Which isn't to say that it's late in the game, but you expect more, especially from... I remember... down on Aki, it's not going to matter. Silence does not stop a TP, and the Fiji's not far enough. Nice. I remember we were saying earlier today that Admiral Bulldog was one of the best um, Lone Druid players in the West and possibly also in the East. And here we are with him completely shut down pretty much. He is going to take this tower. Not that much, but a good step forward for him. Oh, and NS got to kill on Puck, by the way. Yep. 
Get the stun going out by Sven to get a last hit and run! <sighs> Despite ragging on Bulldog a little bit, his team is winning pretty convincingly right now. Yep. It was his job to keep people afraid of him bottom so the loader got on bottom. Now they're gonna get a rush. Here. Thank you. Lanes are pushed. Top lane's getting pushed by Trixie. Come on, Trixie. Oh. Attack the tower. Attack the tower! <laughs> Got a defensive TP coming in from Rubik. He is actually going for a tower with a double treant wave. Um, should be seeing it come down. Oh, buddy. Two more TPs come in. He needs out. He is seen. I think he was just in range. Oh, you want? That'll do it, too. Smart pickup by EGM. That sucks. Yep. Meanwhile, Bulldog actually taking the farm from the gyrocopter on the ancient stack. On the Fnatic side, there's actually quite a bit of stacked ancients here. Mm -hmm. But nobody to really take advantage of it. You got the cleave from Era, but... So they moved the gem over to Night Stalker. That's a smart play. Yep more survivable and just going to work out better for them. So Aero's just going to farm while his team pushes. When you're ahead, get more ahead. But Aero's team is behind. Sorry, not Aero, Loda. I meant to say yep. Loda. And we got the big fight at the Ancients. No Titan is going to take it. Black Cannon just does too much damage. Are they going to engage this, or are they just going to back no, out? they're going to back out. They can't engage they now. Oh, they might get, oh well, they might be able to get S4. They're debating it, but the team's there. They're not going to go for it. If they'd gotten S4 right in this area, so they could have gotten it. I still don't know how to draw this screen. Thank you. It's okay. You're an engineer. You don't need to know how to draw. I guess not. We might not have to trick Good fissure e keeps all the creeps away. Eagle horn going up on the gyrocopter, skipping an MKB or a helm of the dominator, or basically any other item I would expect. And going straight for the eagle song, apparently. Possibly the ethereal blade, I can't imagine why, but it is he has technically BKB up. Yeah. Thanks. That's good. Um Meanwhile, he is scared, he's gonna run away. He remembers what happened last time. <laughs> Well, runs really far away. Not doing anything yet. Everything's on cooldown, but he's just hanging out. No, it's TP's top. top. Good choice. And no tide smokes and comes back mid. Uh, they have going to there, pick up an no era here, century. I think. Yeah, yep. they're definitely going to pick up an era. Era just stuns to make it even worse. He BKBs and TPs. Alright, there you go. Gets away. Well played. Well played. Still not a whole lot on the bear. They have the army load on the bear. That's about it. Yep. So, Loda... Looks like he's just going straight. Butterfly, that's... Interesting. Yeah. Um, Night Stalker looks pretty badass. He's got DD and Haste. He hasn't popped the DD yet, but he's probably going to once he finds somebody. Um, if he catches... No, he's not going to catch anybody. Holy, Gyro does damage. Yep. He is farmed. At this point, Fnatic's in a little bit of trouble. They need their spend to get even more farm. And at least he has his BKB now. Yeah. Um, but they need more. They need him to really start to pour on the damage. He has his uh, Mask of Madness, too. Yep, just completed it. About to hit level 13. It's... Mask of Madness is one of those items that... When it works well, it works really well. And then there are the times where it just kills you. S4 wants a kill, he might get a kill. 
I just, I don't think now is the, I guess now is the time to so play in items. Go. Oh, there goes Hani, three hits. Melting with that BD. Diving oh, they're, with just Oh, they're gonna get, they, they're gonna get S4 here. Yep. They do get S4, but he, he just goes down. Great trees, hold them down while they, Good stun, keeps him in the base, secondary stun. You're not gonna Big get him. Fisher. Big Fisher. Big Puck gets Puck hold in there. They might get him! The tower's damaging him, he's not gonna go top one. He's gonna get away. He gets away. Big Puck, puck dodge with the phase shift. They're still gonna get this tower. They got an urn on S4. Sven is down, they don't have any DPS. Hawk needs to do something. So this is going to be a 26 minute melee rack. It's going to go down. Yep. Meanwhile, No Tide Hunter has two towers down in the tier 1 and no towers in tier 2. They need to know um, who to kill. Like, like, do you kill Loda? Do you kill S4? Like... <laughs> well, I think you have to kill the gyrocopter. I think he's the biggest concern right now. S4 Butterfly isn't weak, but he's not that strong. And then Lone Druid is just not strong right now. Just straight up. Although he is almost as farmed as Fnatic's era. So that shows how bad <laughs> things are going for Fnatic right now. Yep. It's just not good. I mean, you got... Uh, yep. Great items up on Gyro. Look at his attack speed. Just, he just puts out damage like no other. Attacking once every 0.6 seconds. Yeah. Disgusting. Smoke up so, on Fnatic, the rotating top. They're going to find nobody. So, I'm doing, doing some math real quick. Flat cannon, um, six attacks times the approximately 225 the gyrocopter does per attack. Right, hold up real quick. We got an attack yep. coming in. S4 is coming for the back. It's not going to matter. This is the silence, and that's going to be it. Had he got down. Son of Fly. Fly goes down. Ultimate by Gyrocopter. Fly and Eric melt. Showtail goes down. Nothing. Only Trixie back. gets out. It's 5 to 20. Dyer's top tower yeah. is under attack. Dyer's structures are not fortified. Pretty. No. Anyways, as I was trying to say, um, 0.6 second attack speed, 225 per attack for 6 attacks in 3.6 seconds or so, Gyrocopter puts out uh, almost 1400 damage, I think. Wow. Yep. So, Trixie gets a kill on EGM. He has Scythe the Vice and Shadow Blade now, so it's looking good for him. Radiance middle barracks has fallen. Both middle barracks are down. Hani, only level eight with no mana boots. That's tough. Yep, birth shaker with no mana boots and no uh, blink dagger is basically a dead hero at this point. Yep, he dives in three hits to uh, not even to uh, Loda, but to S4. Well, but S4 had the DD on him when he oh, did that. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, so it'll be six hits. Got Great to. warding by the Dyer. They got wards all over the Radiant side. By all over so they know exactly lane. where the death from above is going to come. Yes. I'd like to see a Roche come out here from Fnatic, but I don't have a clue how that would actually work. Loda has Helm of the Dominator now. Is he going to go Satanic next? I think that's what makes the most sense. And then... And then... Divine Ring Beer. Only thing to go. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, he could get the uh, Manta style to replace his drums. Um, but, yeah. Rotation top by No Tide Hunter. There might be able to get Trixie here. Um, no, he's backing off too quickly. Yeah, Loda's coming do. in just to get on the farm. Holy cow. <laughs> Emerald Bulldog's got his basher on the bear. That's big. He's had the basher for a decent amount of time. Uh, wonder if we're going to see another 20... Well, I guess it... Wait, 
What was the Radiance timing last time? 31 minutes, 32 minutes. Yeah, so we're not going to see that this time. No. Um, Trixie is, almost goes down, but gets out. No, no, uh, stuns come out to take him down. Bears chasing no tail. No tail's gonna get away. So Fnatic right now is just buying time, try biding time, trying to get Spin farmed up a little more, Holy so he can get some big hits. The XP graph is twenty thousand towards the dire. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Let's look at levels. Um, I mean, honestly, the top. Nature's Prophet is tied with Gyro for highest level, but the problem is the bottom. You've got your two sports level at eight. Yep. We you've got your anything. you've got your real carry just at level thirteen. Yep. And that's going to be Roche, and they can push any lane they want now. Yeah, I mean it's it's almost they can almost just push mid, almost, yep. and just throne it. I mean. They do enough damage. I think the biggest concern actually is that besides the tr uh, nature's profit, the other heroes are just going to come back too fast. Maybe. Like actually, because I mean, Puck what? and Spin can still do damage while they've got two tier four towers backing them up. First hit entangle on Puck. Oh, he's not there. He can't. No, he. I. I guess he's just harassing him, kind of. Yeah. Whatever. So you've got Trixie farming up since Ancients right now, just a single stack. And he's so, got Scythe of Ice up. So Gyro is not going Satanic, he buys a Demon. Could see the conservative MKB, could see the aggressive, and I hope it is Divine Rapier. Oh, that's gonna be Era. I mean, why not yep. Divine Rapier? You don't need it. You could win without buying another item for the rest of the game, honestly. But, yeah. You know. Yep. Bottom so Puck this game, not as effective, effective as we've seen fallen. last game. I think that's just... I think it's the type of thing where you see... When you see teams play against the same hero and over and over again, they start to get better at just... Deal you, 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 you're, yeah. It comes to mind quicker, how do I deal with this hero? Yeah. Loading attacks, Puck ult... They're not going to get loaded. But, we thought about it. A lot of breaks for no reason at all. They liked the idea of getting Loda. Yeah, sounded good. Huh. Oh, backing he stole, out. He stole uh, Warcry. I like that. And Fnatic's gonna push. Trixie's gonna push. Try to just—he's got his Deso up. He's got a Deso and Sight the Vice. That's that's if damage. If it wasn't a glass cannon, it would be great. Yep, that is the problem with the nature's profit, though. Gyro can buy... Yeah, dude, he's doing it. Oh. He's oh, doing please. It. He's doing please. it. He's got 3,600 gold. He could have bought his double... Uh... He could have bought yeah, his Yeah, right. Thank you, Loda. Thank you from all of us. He hasn't done it yet. He will. He needs 3,800. Yeah. I know, I'm just... Go, go buy it. Trying to temper my hopes. If you don't buy it, everyone's going to laugh at you forever. <laughs> I don't think that's actually true, Oda. The courier's not moving. It's not. He might be saving for buyback just in case. Here's your steal. Holy, that bear is not in. It's not gonna matter. Nice Walker knights it. They're gonna take the second set of racks here. No problem. No tail's thinking about it. No tail wants to. No tail goes out. Two racks down. 
Radiant's bottom barracks has Now Lord has 5,000. Come on, man. Just... Are they smoking? They are. Honey's gonna go down. He is. Great fisher. Silence. Good old by Puck. Puck. Puck gets out. Good done by Sven. Sven smashes down the ETN. He's going for Lode. It's not even possible. Fly gets out. Puck is trying to mess around with people. So, Lone Druid. GG. Still pretty good. Yep. That's the game, guys. Thank you for watching. It's been Star Series Season 5 Grand Finals. No Tide Hunter takes it all. Great play by No Tide Hunter. Good play by Fnatic. Um, the two games they lost, they just didn't look like they were, you know, working quite as normal machine. They they got beat. This game pretty badly. They let Lotus yeah. free farm top, and that's what happened. Yep. Anyways, that's it for us. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully we'll see you back here again sometime. Good night, everybody.